so guys i slept really good thanks to the heater and now it's time to work so i will be working for three hours right now having some sneakers and then heading for breakfast and yellowstone so guys this is the map of the yellowstone park KOA on the west side so this is the main entrance here and this is the admin office they have a playground mini golf basketball so let's go and see how that and these are the whole area of camping so these are the camp uh, cabins right here these are the rv parks right here they have some deluxe cabins right here there is one washroom which is very near to me this right here and then there is another washroom with laundry right here so you can choose whichever of it so let's go and explore the park and they have good amenities and there is uh, security at night so that's really great and they have free wi-fi so pretty good so this is the entire map of Yellowstone Park KOA So guys this is the children's playground right here And after the play they have a mini golf zone and it started to rain right now these are another camping sites for RVs so it's a pretty huge campsite they have space for pets also right here and a basketball court and dumpsters so you can throw your stuff right here and they have an indoor pool also right here which is really great and it's it's cool to heat here hot here yeah so they have an ice cream center also which is closed right now and they have small bike rentals right there which you can use for which is basically for kids So guys for lunch and breakfast brunch basically I've come to Firehose barbecue so let's have go inside and have some nice food Oh they have a bowl also So guys after having an awesome breakfast we are going to do a drive along the river So let's start that drive along the river You can see those bisons blocking the traffic. Guys, you can see these bisons just block the road traffic. So guys, we have arrived at the Gibbon Falls which is on, on the north side of the Yellowstone so you get a nice view and that's the falls so let's go ahead and get a better look so guys we have arrived at the Norris Geyser Basin so we are going to see some geysers again and then going to the mammoth hot spring which will be my, my final destination for today the weather is bad today it's rain snow mixed but it's light but so let's ahead and start our trip for today
So guys, we parked the car here and from the museum you can go in the porcelain basin or back basin. Back basin is roughly one and a half miles and porcelain is like a half mile. So we'll start with porcelain and then go to back basin. Guys, just look at that steam coming with force from beneath the ground and the sound it is making. That shows how much force and heat is beneath our earth's crust. So that was the porcelain basin and now we are starting towards the back basin. So let's start. The only thing is smell, it's really weird, it's like firecrackers burning or rotten or sulfur egg smell mixed. I like the science where so guys, we are the Steamboat Geyser, which is said to be uh, world's tallest active geyser, and it has eruptions every three to twelve minutes. Last eruption was at May twenty third, eight forty five. So this is the acidic geyser. Expect the unexpected. Guys, there's so many springs, so many springs all around, and the smell. Oh. Now let's head back and go to Mammoth Springs. So, guys, we are at the Minute Geyser, which is the last geyser of this spot. They say that this geyser used to erupt every minute ranging from 40 to 50 feet but now that vent has been sedimented by various minerals which is very difficult to remove so this is what it is left of it right now So guys we have arrived at the Mammoth Springs which is the last destination for today and so let's go ahead and view the trail. And guys the hike starts you have to go top of that mountain. I'm already tired this Yellowstone driving and hiking but let's do it. Finally after climbing steps and out of my breath I can see the
And guys, that marks the last stop, the Mammoth Springs. Now there's one more spot called the Boiling River. Let's see if I'm able to do it because I have to exit the Yellowstone and come back in. So let's see if I'm able to do it or not. Otherwise, I will head home. best part of the day guys so guys the most funniest thing happened like the bisons are walking on the road and i'm walking behind them like i cannot do anything they're walking in the middle of the road so and we cannot harm or agitate the wildlife so just keep following them silently it's a really funny thing and ahead also i think so there's a traffic jam because of these bisons this I think so this is a, just a family with a small bison also and I'm just so guys this is a supermarket which is located in West Yellowstone so it's really good we have everything and they have alcohol section also meat section daily grocery items Lots of bread options, water and alcohol. Lots of protein options, cereals, breakfast, eggs, frozen food. So guys definitely check out this supermarket if you need any grocery shopping. They have ample of car parking right here and on that side. And they have everything whatever you need to eat and drink. And this is the, basically the downtown of Yellowstone. They have every restaurants, casino, those drinking cafes, tacos, for tea, not tacos, tea, sorry. And place pizza restaurants, places to stay. So now let's head home and get some rest and barbecue. Yeah. 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 And I thought there was one more thing, So guys, I did not go to the boiling river. I just came home directly. It's around 5 o'clock. So I'm going to work for another 2 hours and then at 7 o'clock I will start my barbecue. And yesterday I didn't I did not do much of a barbecue because the mistake I did was I brought char, uh, charcoal briskets but I should have brought on wood. So charcoal briskets are good for you know home grill or something like that we can cover it and the heat can cook the meat and the thing. So I was just able to cook the vegetables, so that's what I ate. I was not able to get that much heat, so I got wood today. And now let's see if I'm able to do at barbecue. I'm really bad at doing barbecue. So let's go and take some rest, do some work. The weather is really good and sunny at the park right now. These are extra spots which are basically tent, tent spots. You can park your car and there are lots of RV spots right here. I think it's a good uh, campsite. It's near to the uh, West Yellowstone, just like 5 to 10 minutes of drive and you can get all your groceries and to main entrance is just 10 minutes drive. So I think so and it's pretty cheap compared to all the hotels in the West Yellowstone but I think so if you book 
West Yellowstone beforehand, you can get a cheaper price, but I don't think so that would be possible. So, yeah. So, let's go. So, guys, I'm ready for my barbecue. I got prawns and chicken thighs, mounted in Korean fire, salmon, pe green pepper, bell pepper, whatever it is, you call it, onion, corn, and firewood. So, let's get the party started. So guys finally the cooking has started and it's really sizzling and there's a lot of flames right here. The chicken shims uh, seems to be done. I already ate all the prawns because they get cooked easily. I'm able to maintain a steady fire with a lot of fumes. So guys the second round of barbecue is on. So I'm getting the remaining chicken thighs and the capsicum. And guys, that's my dinner. Three thighs, bell pepper and grilled juicy onion.